This episode of DFE is sponsored by italki. Italki is a platform that brings together language students and teachers to enable effective learning through human connection. That means you pick a teacher and arrange one-on-one -on -one sessions. You can choose between a professional teacher that is qualified to teach according to educational norms and a more casual, so to say, native speaker to practice your speech and understanding. So international tutoring sessions, basically. Teachers have a certain freedom to set their own prices, which means that you get in touch with community teachers for as low as $8 per session if you want to. And all of that while staying right where you are at home in your comfy computer chair. And if it isn't comfy, you should consider buying yourself a new one. And what might help pay for that is that if you click on the link for italki in the description, they will gift you $10 along with your first lesson purchase. But at any rate, chair or no chair, go check out italki. Hallo Leute, ich bin Edward und ich wohne in England und ihr seid Deutsch für euch. We're getting back to the prefixes today for a last stretch after a much-deserved break. We only have six more to go and these are arguably the most interesting ones because these are ambivalent, meaning they can be both separable and inseparable. So these are where we get the wonderful two verbs umfahren and umfahren, which mean to drive around and to run over. That particular one has been around the internet a lot recently. I don't know exactly why, but yeah, I use that one as well to demonstrate how prefixes work. But getting ahead of myself here, we're just doing one for today. As always, if you have not watched any of my prefix content before, I recommend you do that just so you know what the hell is going on because I will not be explaining everything from ground zero. So if you need any additional information on that, click on the little eye in the top right corner and I've linked a few videos there that will be useful to you. Also guys, I have noticed that apparently a lot less people are actually seeing DFA videos pop up in their subscription boxes than should be the case. So if you want to make sure that you actually see when I put out a new video, click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, cause that's what you gotta do now. Notifikationen! And with that, let's get to our first ambivalent prefix. Which is durch. Durch is also a preposition and means through. And that goes for several different ways, just like in English. So it can mean from one side to the other. It can mean passing through. It can also mean through when you're like breaking something apart. So it's a lot like the, the word in English. But like I said, what makes durch special as a prefix is that it is ambivalent, meaning that it can be separable or inseparable. And whether or not it is depends on where the emphasis falls in the word. You may remember this if you watched my introductory prefix episodes, but just as a refresher, when the emphasis of the word falls onto the prefix, so durch in this case, then it is separable, which means that we have to put the preposition, or the prefix, sorry, and the verb separately when they are the predicate, so the conjugated verb. However, when the emphasis falls onto some syllable within the actual verb that is prefixed, then they are not separable, and even when they are conjugated, they stay together. And also sometimes there is a tendency for what these prefixes mean when they are separable versus when they are inseparable. So let's take a look. Sein. This one comes up rarely, but I want to put it in this one because it's a, a funny colloquialism. Durch sein is what you can say when somebody is nuts or has gone nuts. Alter, was machst du denn da? Du bist ja total durch. Etwas durchsagen, to make an announcement on some sort of speaker device. So if you are in a train and you hear an announcement, that's eine Durchsage. Somebody is durchsagen something. Etwas durchsagen, to announce something. Separable or inseparable? Separable, of course, because it's durchsagen, not durchsagen. Durchsagen. Ich sage das später durch. Als etwas oder jemand durchgehen to pass for something or somebody or as something or somebody. Na gut, das geht gerade so als Frisur durch. Jemandem etwas durchgehen lassen, to let something slide or to look past something. Na ja, er hat mir das durchgehen lassen, weil er mich lieb hat. Etwas durchmachen, to go through something, so an arduous emotional process usually. Ich mache im Moment wirklich viel durch. Etwas durchstehen. To get through something, metaphorically. Er ist total erschöpft, das steht er nicht durch. 
Durch etwas durchsehen. To look through something. Ich sehe durch dich durch. Durchhalten. To persist, to hold on, to push through. Das ist wirklich anstrengend. Hältst du das durch? Etwas durchnehmen. To cover something. As in a topic. This is usually related to school or another like learning context. Etwas durchnehmen. In Mathe nehmen wir gerade Brüche durch. Durch etwas durchfallen. Now, of course, this can just mean to fall through something, but it also means to fail something, usually a test of some sorts. Ich hoffe, ich falle nicht durch die Prüfung durch. You could also just say, ich hoffe, ich falle nicht durch die Prüfung, but more correctly, you would say, durch die Prüfung durch. It's just that because we have the doubling, because we use the preposition and then we also use the prefix, that you can omit the last one. Okay, now that you've seen that really it just means through in most cases and there's some that are more specific, let's get into the ambivalent part a little more. Because that's what makes these interesting. Like I said, again, if the emphasis is on the prefix, it's separable. If the emphasis is somewhere within the verb, it's not separable. Let's take a look at a few of these. Durchlaufen and durchlaufen. Etwas durchlaufen, so emphasis on laufen, which means inseparable means to go through some sort of a process to undergo something, to undergo a process again, usually. Mm, er durchläuft gerade das Training. So not, er läuft das Training durch, but er durchläuft das Training. Er läuft das Training durch would mean that throughout the entirety of the training, he is just running the whole time. So you could say that, er läuft das durch, which means, you know, this amount of time he spends running, but To durchlaufen something, er durchläuft das Training, means he is undergoing this training, whatever it is. Durchblicken and durchblicken. Again, durchblicken and durchblicken. Etwas durchblicken, so the inseparable one, means that you are grasping something. You are in the full know of something, if that's something that you can say in English. Ich weiß, wovon ich rede. Ich durchblicke dieses Thema. Now, durch etwas durchblicken just means to look through something. So, you could look through a looking glass, I guess. Ich blicke durch die Lupe. So, I'm looking through the looking glass. Ich durchblicke die Lupe would mean that you understand the looking glass in its intricacies. You have figured it out. Durchbluten and durchbluten. Durchbluten and durchbluten. Durchbluten means to circulate blood, to supply something with blood. So, your blood durchblutes your body. Usually this is only used as a gay form, because actively durchbluten something really is just something that your circulation, your blood cells do. So, you would, for example, say... Ich bin gut durchblutet. I have a good circulation. Now, durch etwas durchbluten means to bleed through something. So maybe you're heavily injured. So you would bleed through every bandage that somebody puts on it. Er blutet durch jeden Verband. Er durchblutet den Verband would mean that he, whoever he is, gives circulation to a bandage. Durchbrechen and durchbrechen. When you durchbrechen something, you disrupt something. And this is most commonly heard with ein Muster durchbrechen, which means to disrupt a pattern or to, you know, stop a pattern in its tracks. So this doesn't have to be negative, but a lot of the time you will encounter this with stuff like drug use or other nasty habits. Ein Muster durchbrechen. Etwas durchbrechen, so separable, means to break something apart, to break something in the middle. Hey, brich nicht meine Zahnbürste durch. So that's etwas durchbrechen. And then there's also durch etwas durchbrechen, so to break through something. Sie brechen durch die Decke. They are breaking through the ceiling. And then, because I feel like the majority that we had before was um, separable, here's another one that is inseparable, durchdenken. Etwas durchdenken. To think something through from beginning to end. And I think more often than not, you will encounter this verb in its gi form in a sentence like, dieser Plan war nicht gut durchdacht. We really didn't think this plan through. 
Durch also combines with the modal verbs, so durch können, durch wollen, durch sollen, etc. And that just means to want to go through, to have to go through, to be supposed to go through. So as with some of the other prefixes in the past, this is just omitting a verb of movement. So if you durch wollen, ich will durch, that means you want to get through somewhere. And then finally, just to avoid any confusion, the fact that this prefix is ambivalent does not mean that every verb that it is combined with is ambivalent. So I showed you a few verbs that exist in both its separable and inseparable version, but there's a lot of verbs that are either separable or inseparable. So there's verbs with durch that are separable, there's verbs with durch that are inseparable, and there's verbs with durch that are both. Not all verbs with durch or any of these other prefixes that are to follow go both ways. So just so you don't get confused there, wanted to mention that again. And with that, that's it for today. Thank you to all of these lovely people who are my patrons over on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a crowdfunding tool that you can use to support the creators and the content that you love. And you can do that for DFE as well if you want to help me out in being able to continue this show. And some others include grammar scripts, including for these prefixes. So that means you will get more examples, more verbs that are combined with these prefixes and you have it all in writing, and also the scripts for all of my previous grammar episodes. And then there's some other stuff on there for that. I don't wanna have to keep talking. You can check it all out. The link is in the description. So um, thanks very much if you're considering that. Your random word of the week is das Teppichmesser, which means carpet knife. Don't know why exactly cutting carpets is the most important thing you can do with these in Germany, but that's what we call them. Teppichmesser. Bis nächste Woche. Tschüss.